come to change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barriers, 'cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's rap so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rhapsody. Our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world. Rhapsody of reality. Has come to change our lives forever. Just for me now. Coming up on Rhapsody of Realities. When you give your heart and your soul and your mind and everything to Jesus Christ, you will have such a peace, such a、mm. joy, such a love that nothing else in this world can give this. Amen.、Know? From nation to nation, God's word through Rhapsody of Realities is changing lives every day. With much joy, the nation of Finland in northern Europe shares the good news in our Messenger Angel this month of August on your favorite devotional program, Rhapsody of Realities. The biggest capital that you can ever have is the Word of God. Keep saying it. Don't stop talking. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Rhapsody of Realities, your favorite daily devotional program. We are still reaching you from Finland. Amen. And my co-host with me today is. Hello, my name is Sari. And my name is Harry. And today's message is by Pastor Anita. Fulfill His perfect will, not your own plans. Amen. It's so important message we're going to hear today, and I believe this will really bless you today. Hallelujah.、Amen. Today is Tuesday, August twenty-first day, and the Bible verse for today is. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans twelve and two. Amen. Amen. I believe this is going to be such a wonderful day today, and I believe this really bless you today. What what we're going to go through、mm-hmm. from rhapsody of realities. Hallelujah. Before we continue, we take a short break. Please join us when we come back. You are watching Rhapsody of Realities Daily Devotional Program. Stay tuned. As the sun rises, a new day is born, a new opportunity given, an opening to make a change. A chance to make it better, because our lives are defined by our choices. Every day, with Rhapsody of Realities, counts in making that great future. Get your September edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Call now to place your order, or order online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities. Giving your day a lift. Welcome back. I believe today's message will really minister to you and encourage you. And I believe there's somebody right now who needs to hear this teaching on fulfill His perfect will, not your own plans. Amen. Amen. God doesn't expect you. To live or act without the knowledge of His word,、mm. even this statement is so powerful. Amen. We need to know this as Christians. God doesn't expect you to live or act without the knowledge of His word. Isn't、Amen. this powerful? Yes. Even the first line on this, Pastor Anita's teaching, is so wonderful. You、Amen. know, we cannot do anything without the knowledge of His word. Really. Amen. We can do a lot of things, but there will be a blessing. When we work and we know the word of God and we work according, according to, to this, it, yeah. Many do what they do, 
not because they are certain it's what God wants, but because they are led by their senses. Mm, exactly. Mm -hmm. We should not be led by our senses, because mm -hmm. senses, they can lie to us. Yes. We can feel wrong and we can do the wrong decisions because we, we are following our senses. And that's not supposed to be the Christian mm -hmm. walk of faith. Yes. To live a perfect and balanced life, Amen. you must function according to the knowledge of the Word of God. Mm. And this is really truth. This is for women and men, for every one of us, yes. even for children. You can take Amen. this. If you, if you are, you know, you are, you may be 12 years old, but you can be filled up with the Spirit Amen. and you can be strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. It doesn't look the age, the age in this earth, it doesn't matter. The real, what really matters is that how built you are inside. Amen. How old and how strong is your spirit. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And here it comes again that the knowledge is the key, that we need to have a knowledge of God's word toward us. That's the only way you can be in sync with God's perfect will for you. That's how you live according to his dream and not according to your own plans. Wow, hallelujah. Yes. And you know, mm. thinking about this, that to live according to his dream. Amen. You know, I, I should read this from Rhapsody of Reality's devotional study Bible. Isaiah 55 and verse 8 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says Amen. the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, Amen. and my thoughts than your thoughts. And it's so powerful, you know. As Pastor Anita is saying here, that's how to live according to his dream. Mm. You know, we can we can trust that his dream is so much higher Amen. than our dreams. It is so much more. And it's, you know, it feels like nothing to live according to our, our Amen. plans. Amen. When you really know how big dream God has for you over your life. We can never outdream God. Amen. You know. I want to remind you also that you need to make your dreams so big, mm -hmm. it takes God to fulfill the, those dreams. Amen. Hallelujah. That's amazing. It's because God is a big and great God and He loves to surprise His children. Yeah. And there is nothing Amen. too big for our God. But it's just wonderful to know that God has so many good mm -hmm. thoughts toward us. Yes. Hallelujah. He, had a, he has a wonderful plan for our lives. This is so encouraging. Living or doing things according to your own plans or appetites is spiritual immaturity. When you grow in Christ, you cease to have your own ways. Amen. Hallelujah. When we grow, it's natural just to cease yes. to have it in our way. And Pastor Anita is saying this very, very strongly, you know. When we grow up in the Spirit, Amen. we will just leave the childish things behind easily. Amen. Amen. It's nice. Rather, you plan according to God's instructions and directions. Your goal should be to fulfill His plan Amen. and walk in His perfect will for your life. And I believe that God's will for all, all of us is that we win souls for Christ. Yes. As a born-again Christian, because nowadays we speak so much about the destiny and yeah. what is our destiny and what we need to do and, and our big dreams. But the most important dream that God has for us is to win souls for Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And you know, the, when we walk in His perfect will, yes, amen. even though we would clean toilets, and mm. He had, uh, you know, meant us to be cleaning the toilets, we would be the most happiest persons. Amen. We, had, we would have peace. It is, there will be joy. You know, it, uh, you need to know mm. that you are walking exactly in His plans. Amen. You know. It's, a, it's amazing, because then we are happy, then we are satisfied. Amen. Amen. Then our day, daily life and every day will be an ad adventure with God. Amen. You know? He is in charge, not us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you function in the center of God's will, everything that's connected with you within the ambits of His plans for your life will be in place. That's exactly what you can really say. Yes. That when I am functioning in the center of God's will, you can confess mm. this. Amen. Yes. And there's a harmony with God's will. Yes. He wants to have a sound life and mm -hmm. balanced life. Amen. And he enjoys when our lives is in the, according to His will and when we, when we do those things that he has, he has called us to do. Hallelujah. Mm. And I would like to invite you Amen. to really have this 
harmony, to have this peace Amen. and sound mind and sound life. You can have it in Christ Jesus. And when you're walking in His will, you need to discover His will and not your own plans. You may think that you want to be a doctor. You may think that you want to be a businessman. You want to be rich. You want to do everything according to that. You know, God doesn't have anything against that. But mm. He wants you the best. He wants the best for you. Amen. He wants that you are, you know, and His ways are higher ways. You think you, you want to be a doctor. Maybe God has another plan. Maybe He has a better plan. And it's not maybe, it is. God Amen. has a perfect plan for Hallelujah. your life. And you really need to, you really need to know what is that plan. You, need, you really need to get interested now. Hallelujah. Seek out what mm. is the plan for your life. He has perfect plan. Amen. And the way that you will learn to know what is the plan that God has for you is to know Him personally. You really need to have relationship with Amen. Jesus and you can communicate with him and he will tell you what is the plan that why what is the reason he has purposed you to be on this planet. Amen. If you don't know Christ yet, it has this is the day for your salvation. It is the time for mm. you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there's a uh, salvation prayer back of the rapture realities. Mm -hmm. You can Pray that prayer and receive Christ into your heart. That's the most important decision you do in this life. Hallelujah. God's will is that you serve God with your life. Live according to His word and you will find yourself walking in the center of God's will. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is so true. We don't own us anymore. Uh -uh. God owns us totally when we give our lives to Christ and it might you know you that might sound bad you know yeah. for you but you when you get to hold of the scriptures when you know the Word of God when you give your heart and your soul and your mind and everything to Jesus Christ you will have such a peace such a mm. joy such a love that nothing else in this world can give this amen you know, that it's more precious than gold oh, hallelujah. it's more precious than any yes, success yes. To be born again is so precious and so valuable that you cannot really put a price on it. You just need to know that mm. that's, that is what your heart is desiring for. You know there is a still voice now speaking to your heart. And you know that you have to accept Jesus Christ into your life. Amen. Please hurry, lead us to yes. the prayer of salvation. We will help you in this and uh, we read this prayer of salvation with you together.